this problem. Hmm, what, are, what do we have going on with this problem? Now, in all the previous problems that we did, we always had three terms when we were factoring. And when we had three terms when we were factoring, we factored them into When we had a trinomial and we quadratic trinomial, we factor them into by a product of two binomials, right? The problem we have here is we have four terms. There, we, we, we're not, we can't use the same method. We can't say what two numbers multiply to give you negative two, add to give you what, right? The same process doesn't work. So we need another technique, right? Does anybody remember the technique for factoring when we have four terms? Right, so the, what's the process is called? Factoring by? Grouping. Oh, how'd you guys know that? Oh, so you guys already learned this. Oh, so this is just a review of that. Oh, OK, all right. Well, I, was, I just wanted to make sure that was good. But yeah, it's going to be the fact that was, you know, you don't appreciate my jokes. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the factoring by grouping technique, all right? And now I am going to review it, because obviously not everybody remembered this technique. So the factoring by grouping, you're basically going to group our first two sections. Okay, you're going to group the first two terms, group the second two terms. Now, again, guys, what we're trying to achieve, we're trying to rewrite this as a product. So what we want to do is factor out the common factor of our first grouping the, of the first two terms. So we say, what do these two terms have in common? And you can see that's an x squared. So x plus 2. Okay. Now, in the second, in the second one, you guys see what's the common factor. And now this one trips up a lot of students because they say, well, they don't really have a common factor. That's a negative x and that's a negative 2. They have nothing in common. And to a point, you're right. They don't have like an extra x or like some other you know, 2 or 3 or something like that. However, the idea of factoring by grouping is to get our parentheses the same. Because if our parentheses are the same, we can factor them out. So then I ask you, what do I need to multiply out of this to make it x plus 2? Negative 1. <coughs> And when you do that, look what this problem is to that problem. It's the same, right? So now we can factor out the x plus 2. And we can rewrite it as the zero, uh, linear factorization. OK? And therefore, we can now go ahead and find the zeros. Negative 2 plus or minus 1, all with a multiplicity equal to 1. Okay, so what you guys hopefully have just noticed is I just did the exact same problem four different times, right? 